birthing workshop organized by the Otis Scots Parinabar. I'm going to go and speak to all the ops and guiding team of Otis Parinabar. Hi ma'am, how are you? I'm good ma'am, how are you feeling? How do you feel about this event that Fortis has organized? The event is good. Huh? How do you feel about uh, patients when they prepare for a natural birth? Do you think right now whatever uh, most of the patients do, is it enough or they need to put in more efforts? They need to put in more efforts. I think the family needs to put in more effort for that. The family also needs family to be involved, right? And they should be prepared for the other alternatives also. Right. It's not that when you prepare for normal birth, you will end up in a normal birth. Right, right, right. So they should be counseled, right. they should be prepared otherwise as right. well. Right. So everything is not only about having a normal delivery. They should not get disappointed yes. if it doesn't happen. They should be having a normal healthy baby. Healthy baby, healthy baby. Right. Thank you. So here we have the entire beautiful team of Ops and Gaini from Fortis sitting here with us. Um, Ma'am, what do you feel when patients come to you and talk about uh, preparing for childbirth? Do you think that uh, they are willing to prepare for childbirth or they need everything up, uh, upon the obstetrician till the last yes, minute? They are willing for uh, preparing themselves for the childbirth. Nowadays, be, uh, the patients are very much aware of all the things they should do before even planning to have the baby. Hmm. And then definitely once they conceive, they agree something to hmm. an expedition also. Hmm. So patients are willing to learn? Yes. Thank you ma'am. Hi ma'am, how are you? <laughs> so when patients come after <laughs> a natural child, how, how frequently do they actually come and ask you about what are the uh, contraception Contrac methods to be followed so that they don't yeah, end up this, getting pregnant this is, soon? Uh, this is the question which is raised by each and every patient, every patient. coming to uh, our OPD and especially at that time they are very uh, receptive about this uh, uh, contraceptive care mm -hmm. and they are very keen to adopt the methods which are advised to them. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, for us also this is the best time to you know mm -hmm. counsel them and uh, make them aware about all the contraceptive choices mm -hmm. and so that they can you know choose from the methods uh, suitable to them and so, uh, so that proper spacing can be hmm. maintained between the child. Hmm. So this is the best time. Hey, ma hmm. Hi ma'am, how are you feeling? Okay, your question is, uh, how frequently do patients come and ask you about what are the vaccinations that are required after delivery? For example, cervical cancer vaccination. Are patients willing to uh, get it done? Recently, the awareness regarding the cervical cancer vaccination has increased. Hmm. Though it was quite less hmm. uh, in the past few years, hmm. but now it has increased and most of them are willing to take vaccination in postpartum period. Hmm. In fact, they ask about the other vaccines also, hmm. whether it can be taken or not hmm. and it can be clubbed with child's vaccination or not, so that it becomes easy and comfortable for them to hmm. visit together and get the vaccination done. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, ma'am. So you are expecting your second baby, right? Yeah. I have patient Gunjan with me here, who is here for the Radisson uh, Fortis and Scott's National Birthing Workshop. How are you feeling? I'm pretty good. Excited. What do you think about this initiative that has been taken by Fortis and Scott's? It's really good. It's like a good So you feel that husband should be equally involved in labor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>